All right, so I'm going to put out this really, really quick uh, review of Marvel's Avengers Affinity War. Um, I actually was able to see it um, a lot earlier than most. And uh, I have to say, without a shadow of a doubt, this film was absolutely amazing. Um, <clears throat> there are were things, if you were a diehard comic book fan, uh, you may not like, but... Overall, I think the Russo brothers did an amazing job of balancing out creative freedoms, creative liberties, but also staying true to the mythology that is the Avengers Infinity War, uh, the Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, you know, it, as far as I'm not going to put any spoilers in this because I'm not trying to get in trouble. Basically, um, there is, I would say, in my opinion, just to me, there's one emotional death. There's only one emotional, emotional death that hits you in the gut. Uh, if you've watched all these films from beginning to end. Um, and, of course, Marvel does what they always do with their villains. Um, I still say Killmonger is their best villain. And that's just not me being biased. It's just from a creative written standpoint. And just how Michael B. Jordan portrayed him. Thanos is... Well, he's Thanos in this film. They do change his uh, motivations but uh, that's already been spoken about uh, they, they they alter his character just slightly the Russos did but for the most part the action is amazing um, I will sit here and tell you one thing the battle in Wakanda is one of the most heart pounding um, you know the stakes were truly on the line and you felt it um, I, I will say this in relation to the deaths there are a lot more than you think like, I will sit here and say, like I said, that there are some deaths you see coming and you saw coming, and then there are deaths that you did not see coming whatsoever. Um, and then there were, let me tell you what I feel was the biggest mistake by Marvel this time around with this film. They started releasing um, trailers, right? Mini trailers, TV spots, left and right in the promotion, the lead up. The last two weeks, they have released so much footage. And I remember speaking with someone about it and they were telling me how they felt about it. They were like, you know, this is uncharacteristic of, of Marvel to be doing this. And I feel like I, I had the conversation. I said, well, maybe they're just trying to keep people, you know, to, to, to keep wetting the palate because this has been over 10 years in the, in the waiting for it. And if people could just wait just a little bit longer, you know, just keep them teased and gain that excitement. But I feel if you go back and you watch a lot of the, the TV spots, which did a lot of repeating with with uh, subtle adjustment of camera angles and scene angles, you can kind of get an idea. But for the most part, I, I will sit here and say that I was a little bit disappointed in what Marvel Studios decided to do with the, the promotional campaign because I felt like... There's a lot of things <clears throat> that could have been different if they had just released the, I would say, what would have been a really good trailer to release was the first teaser trailer, the second trailer, and then the uh, chant TV spot. That would have been great. If you had just left it at that, it would have been good. But, you know, uh, Good Morning America was showing up, popping up with scenes, and you saw certain... All I'll sit here and say is that I think that the ad or the promotional campaign for this could have dialed it back a notch because there are certain things in it. And when you watch the film, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, like I said, it, it just was an amazing film. And this is coming from a diehard DC fan. Um, no hesitations in me saying that. And I have to give these guys, the Russo brothers, all the respect in the world because they took they took leaps here. Um <clears throat> There is, <laughs> there is a uh, special, um, like a, um, a cameo by a certain, one of my favorite actors, not going to say who it is, um, it, it has to deal with probably, uh, you know, the, the best comedic uh, 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 raccoon that we have ever seen, and I, I think it was amazing that they decided to, to put these two people together. Uh, but it was a, a cameo that I, I love, absolutely loved. So, yeah, just uh, that's I'm going to end it here because if I talk too much about it, I'm going to start giving stuff away. Basically, uh, this definitely, definitely um, is uh, an amazing film. And I suggest everybody go out there and get and watch it. Um, don't listen to a lot of the, the spoilers that were leaked. 
uh, because a lot of them have their personal agendas. Just go watch watch the film. Um, it, I, what I would do, and I know that what we're going to do, and my family going to do, we're going to watch every, because we own every film. We're going to watch every film, and we're going to watch it again, and then I'm going to take my family, and then they're going to watch the, the film on opening night. So, yeah, that's all I got. <laughs>